Tom Mack makes a living doing something we all wish we could do. He pulls the trigger full time. He's a competitor, an instructor, and shoots for CZ USA as well. But what he's never done is been to Africa. So this is gonna be his first trip to the dark continent in Zimbabwe. It's gonna be an exciting episode of Cape Buffalo and Plains Game and one you won't wanna miss. a young boy, you know, when the American sportsman would come on with Kurt Gowdy, you know, made me dream of faraway places and faraway hunts and exciting adventures. And so I know, didn't know if I'd ever be able to achieve it or not, but Africa was always at the top of the list. And the one animal that interested me the most was the Cape Buffalo. I don't, I don't know why, I just, I just was fascinated about this beast and uh, I, I, I couldn't wait. They say it's the only animal that when he looks at you, he looks at you like you owe him money. And when he looks at me and was a little bit mean, I look back and I get a little bit meaner and I just had to hunt them. I wanted to desperately. <laughs> I'm gonna put about a minute left in it. Right. Now what, what model of CZ is this? Uh, this is a CZ-550 Sonoran rifle. It's part of our Western series, and um, it's made with our traditional 550 controlled round feed action, double square bridge, Mauser style action, and, um, and we put it in a Manners 100% carbon fiber stock. It's a nice stock. And, and uh, even though it looks like a little bit bigger and bulky, it's actually under two pounds for the stock. So. The, Brings you a finished rifle of under eight pounds. Wow, man! You brought it in uh, 338 wind mag. Yes, that's kind of a custom shot. I figured 338 Winchester would be a, a good round for that's Africa perfect. Plains game. Yep, for big Plains game, that's fantastic. How she look? Right down the middle. Perfect. All right, so we're ready to hunt. Cool looking rifles. Your what you bring for your big gun for Buffalo? Uh, this is the CC. 550 Magnum, mm -hmm. and this is a 458 lot. Nice, okay. So I wanted to bring something that was large and in charge. Yep, that's it. Bigger is better when it comes to buffalo. Well, let's check the iron sights on this and see how she's shooting. Okay, Tom, I always set the sticks a little bit low. Yes, sir. Once they drop the rifle in and then just pull it up to where you're really comfortable. Don't lean in too much with the big caliber. It'll, it just increases the recoil. Eh? Okay. Spending some time before you get here, and it looks like you're dead on. That's awesome. Yep, perfect. Now do that to a buffalo. Let's get him. Okay, so Tom, buffalo basically it's it's better as a, it's a morning game. Eh? We you know for a couple of reasons, if we can catch them feeding, there's a better chance of trophy assessment. Um, once they're lying down, they're hard to approach because you're moving and they're not. So um, what we're going to do now is we're going to go off and have a look for some planes game. Yes. And see what we can find. Excellent. Let's get What uh, expectations do you have in a buffalo? What are you looking for? I mean, like anybody, I would like to shoot a, a nice, a nice trophy buffalo. I mean, it's something. First of all, I'm so darn excited to be here. I can hardly stand it. I mean, all I have done in my life is dreamed about Africa just to be here and I mean this morning I was getting dressed and I was thinking about you know Capstick's books and I was thinking about Teddy Roosevelt and Elmer Keith and 
and, uh, and now I'm finally here. I mean, I can't express to you how much fun, I, I'm, I'm, how excited I am to be here. I'm really looking forward to it. And I've done two years, I have practiced I don't know how many boxes of shells through my four, five, eight lot. My friends don't even want to shoot with me anymore because they don't like it. But I, every time I pull the trigger, I love it. Yeah. I love it. So I'm really looking forward to it. So yes, I, I'm not going to shoot a buffalo until you say, hey, this is the buffalo, shoot him. You know, of course, I want the biggest, nastiest son of a gun walking through the bush. But that's because I'm a hunter. But uh, when he says this is the buffalo, he's going to get it. And I'm really looking forward to it. This week, we're in the Save Conservancy of Zimbabwe. We filmed here before, and for good reason. The Save Conservancy is a million acres of wild, pristine Africa. It's got elephants, buffalo, rhinos, and tons of plains game. It truly is the best of what's left of the dark continent. I've hunted with Save safaris before with Mike Payne. He goes back 10 years as a buddy of mine, and it's a great experience. We've hunted buffalo here in the past, and it truly is a slice of old Africa. Mike said he didn't want to want to hunt the herd. This time of year, it's uh, the dry season, and there's a lot of stress in that herd, and, and there's no, read to put, no need to put more stress in the herd. And his idea of put a huge grin on my face, he said that he wanted to go out and find an old dug -a boy And so to go find an old bachelor mud boy, yeah, I was all about that. I was very excited to hear that. Strong enough and brave enough that to leave the security of the herd and fend for himself would make an, a fantastic, exciting hunt. And I was up for the challenge. Elephant bull came through last night and he's put up his own roadblock. <laughs> right, Tom, our walk ends here now, but the wind's changed on us and that's why everything's kind of taking off. I can feel it. Yeah, the back of your neck. Yeah. But it's as it gets hotter down here, it swirls. it swirls, but we get more and more game. And to a point where it actually becomes quite hard to make a stalk tongue, it's just too so many animals. Around, yeah. The lion, oh man, they're patrolling here. Yeah. The lion are almost here constantly now. So a lot of your game's gonna stay up in the hills. There's a big hill here, yeah, good place for eland and kudu. We'll go and sit up there in the evening. Funny thing is our buffalo here, yeah, if they see you, they'll run two, three hundred meters and stop. If they smell you, gone. Oh, we've seen it. Elephant tracks, lion tracks, yeah. kudu tracks, eland tracks. Black rhino. Black rhino tracks. Giraffe. Giraffe. Zebra. There's a lot of game here. It's pretty good for three hours. You know, I love hunting Africa. There's no doubt about it. It's one of my favorite places to go to whenever I get the chance. But one thing I enjoy doing, possibly more than actually hunting Africa, is taking somebody on their first safari. It's just magical to watch and experience. They're amazed at everything, you know, the game, the bird noises, the trackers. People are speaking in native languages and they're constantly turning to you going, what's that? What did he say? You know, it's just fun. I really enjoy that part of taking somebody on an African safari. You don't see wild dogs very often. That's, that's a rarity to see. They've got a bunch of men here though. By late morning, we were heading back to camp to uh, get lunch and have a little siesta. And uh, we picked up a trail, some fresh trail of uh, a few Dugga boys, and we decided to uh, mark it, come back later in the evening and start there.
we came back uh, later in the afternoon, picked up the trail, and, and, and started making our way back in. And we didn't need to go too terribly far, and, and we caught him laying down. I didn't see him at first. Okay. Wait, for, wait for him. He's coming. Just wait, wait, wait. He's hit hard. He's hit hard. Just wait, wait. Just wait, wait, wait. Okay, he's going. He's gone down. Just watch the others. like a white mark there. Can you see that mark? Yes. This squeeze. That's it. Come on, off you go. Come on. Hey, 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 hey. You want none of this. Come on. Yep. Yeah, way. Yeah, way. <laughs> He's gonna come. Are you full? Yes. Come on. He's gonna come. We shoot him if he comes? Yeah, yeah. I need shoot when I tell you that. Go on. Hey! Go on! Help! Come on! Hey! Go on! Go on! Ha! Ah, oh, cheeky bastard. Go on. Boy, he's upset. I thought we were going to have a handful. Oh, fantastic. Look at the size of him. Well done. Yeah, in yeah. Africa. <laughs> Lifelong dream, first day. Yeah. Oh, he's a magnificent buffalo. All that practicing paid off. Yeah, that's a perfect shot, right in the pub there. Great shot. What, uh, what do you think? You dreamed about buffalo forever? They live up to their expectations? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I want to kill a few more now. <laughs> this is fantastic. The magnificent buffalo. This is the greatest day I've ever had in Africa. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it, it, happened, it happened here in Zimbabwe but for the rest of my life, that bull's at my house. And that's gonna be a great memory that I can relive every day. The next day, we were off hiking around, 
just out hunting, which, and that's really cool in Africa. When you, you're going hunting, you know, when you're in Michigan, you're going out to hunt whitetails, and you're not going to see any giraffes, and you're not going to see any Cape buffalo, and you're not going to see any blue wildebeest. You're going to see whitetails, and nothing wrong with that. But here, hunting is amazing because you never know what you're going to see. That the variety of animals is fantastic. So when you're out hunting. You're just hunting. You don't know what you're hunting. You're looking for targets of opportunity. You see him? He's got good length, but he's really only starting to open up at the top. Staying just, just in the shade there. Okay. Just squeeze. Very good shooting. What well it? Excellent. Thank it's a nice you. impala. Thank you. Hey. hey. Hey, it looks good. <laughs> Great old impala. Oh, that's a great shot. Well done. Nice Straight job. down. And skinny and all you see in his neck and his hump there. Yeah, that his teeth Good are job, probably man. right worn down. That is a lovely old impala. Well done. First impala. Nice job. Lovely old impala. Very nice. Well, it's getting hot. Should we get him out of here? Yep. Get him cleaned up and have him for dinner? Get him back to the skinning shed. Back straps. Oh, yeah. <laughs> out hunting again I think it was the third day and um, we made a, a, a long drive and parked the, the, the land cruiser and loaded up the rifle and took the 338 and off we went and we were making our way through the bush and checked the water hole and walked a long trail uh, scouting all the way and watching and Namomak under Namomak Making our way to another water hole, when I, I looked up ahead, and here's these huge rock piles right on the edge of the water, and I was like, oh, this is a perfect ambush point. Very carefully, glasses over the top of a rock, and he slides back down real slow, and he goes, there's zebras coming in. Don't move. And so I'm sitting there, can't see anything, haven't, haven't gotten prepared really and suddenly here come the zebras. And it was one right after another and they're making their way to the water hole. They were a little bit cautious about coming in. There was a herd of impala there as well and the Pala broke the ice and they walked into the water first. When the zebras saw that there was nothing wrong and the impala walked in, the zebras followed. And here they come and, and there must have been 50, 60 of them.
behind him. Right there. Right there. Just watch him. Watch him. He's hit tight. He's not going anywhere. Don't shoot again. Safe. seriously mixed up with all the stripes. That's the whole design of the zebra. That's why they are striped. Let's go uh, walk up there and check them out. Perfect, perfect shot. That's perfect shot. You know a thing or two about shooting, Tom. <laughs> you haven't hit an animal bad yet. Very nice. Thank man. you. Well done. Congratulations. Well Congratulations. Done. Beautiful animal. Hey, he's an old animal, eh? Sure. Yep. Hey, man. What did you think about all that? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Man, it was it was really neat. I can't believe how good that camouflage works going through the trees. I mean, you can't tell front to back how many there are, how many's coming. That is fantastic. But I've called all my hunting buddies and uh, I've called some of my family members and I've told them it's, it's everything I dreamed about and then some, and, and uh, can't wait to come back.